Hi, I'm David Mustard and this week I'm about five hours northwest of Stockholm in the deep, deep forests of Dalarna and I'm visiting the incredible tiny cabin Odis Öga. I'm not actually sure you could call this a cabin, it has all the features of a cabin but it does not look like your average cabin to say the least. And I actually stayed the night this time, but not in here, it was minus 20 degrees last night, so last minute I opted to stay in their Fähus house, which is a bit more comfortable when it's this cold. And just like my visit to the high loft and south loft, there's only a couple of hours of daylight during the day, and it's mostly twilight actually, so it was a long and dark night here in the middle of bear and wolf country. I promised Jenny that I would make as much noise as possible when being out here so I don't actually run into any unexpected guests. The cabin is part of Näset's Markusgård, which is run by Mirell and Willem. This farm here dates back to 1910 and now has two really amazing cabins and two bigger houses where you can stay. I will leave a link below so that you can book your own stay here. When you arrive at Näset's Markusgård, you park your car straight ahead and then you go and check in. And after that, you will have to make your way through the forest towards the cabin. And it's only around 100 meters. It was pitch black when I arrived, but luckily I was escorted to the cabin, otherwise it would have been a bit scary. Now let's have a look from the outside. This cabin looks like something out of a science fiction movie. I would almost like to compare it to the giant Omu in Miyazaki's Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, if you remember those. It can also be compared to some sort of spaceship or part of an airplane or something like that. When you first approach the cabin from the front, you're met by this glass door which have a pattern of a tree carved alongside it. And if we move around the side, we see this copper-colored cylindrical metal sheets that cover it from all around it without any windows or anything else on the side. And then when we move around the side towards the back of it, where we have the main windows out towards the view. At the top of the cabin you can also see a chimney to let out the smoke from the fireplace inside. Now, let's have a look at the inside. This is obviously not a large cabin, so it will be a fairly short walkthrough. Immediately to our left you have two bunk beds, and just opposite the bunk beds there's a small wooden coffee table. And then right next to it we have a stove to keep you warm inside the cabin. And now if we look straight ahead, we are met with the window from which you see straight out to the woods and there's a table and two benches here, which, if there's more than two people in the cabin, can actually be folded out into a double bed, so that there's room for four people all in all. It's really nice to sit here with a cup of coffee and enjoy the view and hope that you see some moose, deer, or maybe some lynx, or lujur as we call them but preferably we won't see any bears or wolves though. The table is hanging from the ceiling, attached with a string to these hangers. And then when you need to transform it to a bed, you just unhook them and have the table as the middle part of your bed. You are also of course provided with towels for your stay here and breakfast as well. In the corner you can also find the electric heater as well, which really helps now. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like, that really helps. And we will soon have more videos for you. And let us know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel. You should definitely check out my visit to the High Loft, that was a great one. I'll leave links below so you can check that out as well. Now there is a second very special cabin we need to talk about. Not sure if this should be called a cabin either, but it's the Supermone, which means supermoon. This place is suspended in the air, three meters up between the trees, and is designed and built by tree tents, which also made all this Öga. It's completely insulated, so you can stay here even at this time of year. In here, two people can sleep comfortably, and there's a fireplace in here, and you can also fold the beds into sofas during your stay. Now let me know if you would dare to sleep this high up, just hanging in the trees, so when the trees move, you move with them. It's very exciting. 
During the colder season, like now, you can have your breakfast and cook in the kitchen of the Fähus or Hörlada. It's the other two holiday homes here on the farm. They're both right here where you park. I stayed in Fähus here on the left, so let me take you through it. This place sleeps up to 10 people and has a really beautiful interior design. You have this massive open plan living room, kitchen and dining room downstairs where you come in. And all the floors, ceilings and walls are in white with these wood beams in the middle of the room. And then there's bright orange pieces all around the room. You have orange sofas, curtains, lamps, vases and chairs. And then upstairs you have all the bedrooms. It felt very luxurious to have all of this to myself. And Mirelle and Willem also made dinner for me when I got here. It was the most delicious vegan lasagna. And I love a good lasagna and this was just great. And for dessert I got some raw ice cream. Really good as well. Here in Fähus you can also borrow books and games. I'm going to watch some Netflix though. I'm trying the Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes crime show True Story. And I also had some work that needed to be done like finishing up all the preparations for this video for example. So I was never bored and had plenty to occupy myself with. Not that you need to be bored to pick up a book or play a board game, just saying. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of this very cool holiday retreat in the forests of Dalarna. I will leave a link below and if you're interested in booking this, just click the link and have a look if there's any availability when you're ready to visit. Now let me know what your favorite part of this place is. Is it Odis Öga, the Fähus or maybe the Supermoon? Let me know and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch, luxury apartments, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a like on the video, that's always very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon. Bye bye.